So it's the second of the per temps handicap hurdle qualifiers then now, the first one last week. I'm not sure how many qualifiers there are or how many places qualified. Probably four, I think, the finals at Cheltenham. And the top one is Persian Gulf. Jim Murray at the festival, of course, as well. And Tower of London, Paul Rogers, number two. Pembroke Barrakilla for Graham Clutterbuck, three. Lord Glen Craig for Martin Leader is four. Benny Sinatra for Molly at Surfers, five. St. Orange for Darren Thompson, number six. Seven is Bitter Path, Leon Van Rensburg. Eight, Tiger Cook, Pontypool Racing. Nine, Mighty Son, Alex Cherry. Ten, Never Murray, Derek Hinton. Eleven, Lauder, Shining, Conor Raganti. Twelve, Scarfy, Otty, James Follis. Vanguard Dream for Obi-Wan is number 13. Fourteen is Finium for Tan King and Murfreesboro for Obi Wan was the bottom one. So aerial sweep of the track then. Three mile hurdle with a very short run to the first flight. And we're straight on the back of Vanguard Dream. You can see the horse under the wheel look around looking for some space. That looks like Benny Sinatra is going to be the one that takes them along. And we're just behind that one. Kicks its leg out in front. Big crowd then, as you'd expect. Pretty narrow track, the hurdle course here. And the entry, we've just slipped over onto Never Murray now. We'll have to see what people think about these jockey cam parts of races. For me, they don't really serve a great purpose at all, really. It was fun when we were looking for one to four a season or two ago, but uh, most of the time it just hampers what's going on in the race when you can't see what's going on. I suppose it makes it a little bit interesting. And now back to normal, and Finium is the leader by about three or four lengths. To Bitter Path in second, Scarfiotti is third, then Pembroke Barrakilla is after that one. Tower of London is next, then Louder Shining. And Benny Sinatra, the early leader, never Murray in the pink on the inside. Mighty Sun is after that one, then Lord Glen Carraig as they take number two. Skip over that one nicely. Finium's in front then by a couple to Pembroke Barrakilla and Scarfiotti and Bitter Path. Tower of London is next as they get over number four. And the field's pretty well strung out. This Finium is. Putting some pace to this race, and Finium is a good four clear, probably even five to Pembroke Barrakilla in second. Then Tower of London and Scarfiotti, Bitter Path on the inside in the dark blue. A little gap of a length or so then to Benny Sinatra and Mighty Sun, and the purple jacketed Lord Glen Craig on the outside of the pink jacketed Never Murray with Carl Aragante's louder shining, louder shining on the inside. Then Persian Gulf for Jim Murray trying to get a bit closer, and St. Orange. Oh, Darren Thompson back in. Yeah, on that one, and then the back three are Murfreesboro, Tiger Cut, and Vanguard Dream. So I think that could be Obi One Series two with two in the back three. But it's still a long way to go yet. And, um, I'm sure we'll get much closer before the end of the race. So Finium's in the lead then, and the lead cut down to a little more than two lengths now. And they've still got a long way to go. And over that one, I thought we'd lost something, but it's those cones, isn't it? A lot of jockeys on the floor, and two them between the legs of. Horses, well, Finium, just about repelling Raiders at the moment as they take number seven. Leads from Scarfiotti in second. Tower of London on the outside is third. They go past the chair. And they'll come past the winning post shortly and they'll be around for one more trip on the track. Uh, we're losing one at the back there. It looks like Tiger Cut's being pulled up, so the first of the pull ups. I hate that three mile mark, haven't we? Maybe we ought to. Make it a rule next season that we'll make all of the three mile races two mile seven furlongs. I think drop everything a furlong. See if that affects the um, affects the pull up kit. I'm sure there'll be lots of people screaming, "You can't do that! You can't turn three mile races into two mile seven furlong races." Where's the beauty of this type of thing? Is that you can do what you like, really, if everybody wants to do it. And Finium's in the lead. Scarfiotti is second. Then Bitter Path, Pembroke Barrakilla, and Tower of London. Penny Sinatra and Nevermore, and we're losing another one now, it's Persian Gulf, so that's two pulled about, a third one's going as well, Vanguard Dream, so on the plus side, at least they're the three at the back, and we're not getting ones pulling up in challenging positions, which was what we had last week, and now Lord Glen Carragh has gone as well, so that's four of them pulled up in the space of two flights of hurdles, and it's definitely an issue, I think, for most people, horses that don't appear to be 
Travelling badly. And also, the pretty nose stays through miles. That's the, the annoying thing, really. I mean, that last one I just pulled up. It's one of mine, and that's in as a three mile, three mile four horse, and it's pulling up over three miles when it's in contention. It's quite ludicrous. Anyway, St. Orange is in the lead. Finium is fighting back, though. Doesn't really want to give that lead up, does it? Finium is in front from St. Orange in second. Murfreesboro has moved through nicely into third. Then comes Pembroke, Barrakiller, and Bitter Path with Scarfiotti, Benny Sinatra and Tower of London never worries after that one and Mighty Sun is the back marker from there St Orange jumps into the lead Finium is second Pembroke Barrakiller is third and then Benny Sinatra Murfreesboro also trying to get into it now is Tower of London Scarfiotti is looking for a second run never has been switched to the outside Bitter Path has lost his place a little bit and I would say Louder Sean and Mighty Sun are the only two who are out of it they've got two more flights of hurdles to take and St Orange has kicked for home he's gone three four clear now St Orange is a top stage so they're not, it's going to be difficult to imagine this one stopping. It's St. Orange in the lead from Benny Sinatra and Finium over the second last. Didn't jump it all that quickly though. And Benny Sinatra and Finium are trying to battle back. St. Orange though, only got a furlong and a half to go. It's a short run and there's one more flight to take. St. Orange needs to keep up this good work. He skips over and gets away from it nicely. Benny Sinatra's trying to fall down and pull down a big chance, but he's not going to get anywhere near this leader. And St. Orange will be a good winner of this one. That one I think might be a little bit too good for the per tenth gun jump. And St. Orange is going to take this one by a good six or seven lengths to Benny Sinatra second and Finian Bitter Path Tower of London Scarf lotting after that one Mighty Sun was the last one to finish and four victims to the pull-up kit but Darren Thompson won't mind that one St Orange takes it wins it really comfortably with Benny Sinatra second for Molly at Surfer Finian for Town King was third Bitter Path for Leon Van Rensburg fourth and Tower of London for Paul Rhodes was fifth